We are back with part two of the USTA tournament experience. If you missed part one, I dropped the first match 6-2, 6-4, and then ended up getting a withdrawal at 5-2 in the first set in match two. Comment section was an absolute war zone in part one. I'd expect nothing less from tennis YouTube fans, the most opinionated group of people in the world. But with that said, keep commenting and let's get back to the tennis. We are back for day two, part two of this video, playing my first tournament of the year. It's 6 a.m. right now, 36 degrees outside. I didn't sleep that well because I can't breathe out of my nose. About to hit this drive, it's about an hour and a half. I'm gonna be honest, I love tennis more than most, more than most, but I am not excited about having to hit this drive again, but we're just gonna live with it, you know? We're gonna roll with the punches, and we're gonna win two matches today. It's just that simple. Excitement levels are low. We'll start building them up as we get closer. Ditching the Starbucks today, thank gosh, for some brevity coffee. Thank you so much, have a good one. Four out of ten for for brevity coffee in, in Bernie or San Antonio. Definitely don't need to stop there. But. All right, guys, on the court at 8 a.m. and it was one of those days where it was so cold that your hands are like basically numb. So the tennis to start off was not super quality. Although this slice lob here is pretty quality. I'm happy to walk away with a win in game number one. You always want to do that. Win serving, so felt good. But then Logan came, unorthodox serve motion, but he made a lot of them. And I kind of push him here after he gets a 40-0 lead because, again, my hands were freezing. I was not returning serve well early. I'm continuing to try to push him. Weak backhand there. Another weak forehand. Decent backhand, I'll take that one. Get a weak ball, short ball. Do better with that. High roller to the backhand. Good overhead. Um, send it to Deuce, but then he's got a advantage early. Again, not a great backhand, but I'll take it. That is a good backhand, I like that. And then he just barely puts it over the net and takes that game. Serving early was amazing for me, really good. I'm pleased with the way I was serving. Again, I like what I did with that short ball, forced to miss, I'm up 2-1. Get a short ball there, go to the backhand. You see that little hesitation I had right there? Didn't break on it early enough. I should be taking that ball out of the air, putting it away. Um, I don't do that. Thought I had a backhand winner right there, which you know I'm always looking for. Always looking for a backhand winner. Chop that thing up into a short. Make it nice. Logan holds. Continue the good serving on my side. Happy with you know that part of my game. Good short ball there, end up taking that game as well, pretty easily. I'm up 3-2, great return of serve. Good job attacking the short ball. And put that thing away. Not as forcefully as one would like, but you, you just, you take what you can get, that's a win. A point is a point. Um, short back in there, you can't deal with it. Another good return when he's trying to take me out wide. Gotta get that slice deeper in the court. <laughs> But that's a really solid rolling low forehand. So we have three break points, fail on the first, a framed return. Follow that thing in, and then make a really nice play at the net here to get the break early. So we're up 4-2, and we're going to keep trying to serve well, make things happen. Miss that volley, which I'm always upset with missing volleys, but you know, if you don't practice them all the time, they can go pretty quickly. 
contrary to popular belief, I have been practicing my volleys. There's a really nice winner there. Second serve, we've got a, not a break point, but a chance to put this game away. And I thought that was in. Looking back on video, it's probably in, but you know, these things happen. Calls go both ways. If you look here and have another chance at the game, that serve was out. So you can't be that mad when people miss close calls. It's just part of the game. It happens in tennis. But we're up 5-2, looking to put this game away early. And um, I've got a quick lead on the service game. That's just not ideal. That little slice approach shot, got to get that lower. Just gave him that point. Um, so it's 15 all get a short ball, miss. Just missed that and we're back on serve. The chance to close out the set. Feeling good about what is happening, but the thing about tennis is you have to stay locked in because people aren't just gonna give it to you. You've gotta just continue to fight and there is a point that just is painful to lose and then I follow it up with a lack of focus and don't finish that game off. A good serve and volley, but still, we're, we got a little comfortable, complacent, and we, we, we come from behind, but we don't get it done, and he gets the break. It's just not what you want to see. So we're going to try to fight to get that break back and end up taking this set. Um, decent slice there, and then right idea, but just missed by a hair. You can't be that upset with those played it right and he hits a high ball I kind of moon ball him back and then we get into the point and it's a long one I believe backhand down the line like it backhand cross court not a great but I, I'll take it and then scrape that point out another generous call see you guys it goes both ways Really nice forehand there, taking me out wide. And just kind of slow moving and miss that slice. Got to be ready for it earlier. So now he's got a 30-15 lead, trying to fight to stay in this set. And I make just, you got to make that ball. Um, he didn't hit it too hard. And then I, I give up the, the chance at a break and we're at 5-5 five, five and I'm having to battle a lot more than I would like after starting this set up 5-2. Really nice pass there, but one of the best volleys I've hit in a while to get the lead. Um, Got to do more with that. I hit it right to him. Luckily, that's the best volley I've hit in a while. Really good. Um, end up getting up 6-5. Don't want to send this thing into a tie break. Um, somehow make that ball somehow make that ball and somehow make this ball. And then he hits this attempt at a lob and I take that point. So good start trying to close this set out. Those high backhands, I need to flatten them out a little bit more, get some more power. But that's a great deep ball by him to even up the score and Pushing me to my forehand side. Have time to run around that. Gotta do more with that. Came in pretty high, but still forced the miss. Now it's 30 all. You know, still really not wanting to send this to the tie break. Barely make that backhand and then hit a beautiful forehand that I just kind of roll in there to have a break point and a set point. And then that hurts to see that happen on set point. Not what you want to see. Um, then he makes me move a little bit, have a nice get, make the backhand, then he gives me a little slice, and we're right back in the point, but we miss. So he's got the ad, puts a good serve in, I'm playing defense early, and then, boom, that's huge, huge. Now I have break point and another set point. 
I'm on the run playing defense. Hit a ball to neutralize the point. He maybe should have taken that out of the air. Maybe should have hit an overhead. Who knows? There's a decent backhand. Um, at least it forces him to move. Now I'm probably on the offense. He hits a good ball. I neutralize him with the slice. He hits a really good backhand. I neutralize him again with a solid backhand return on defense and barely misses. Guys, these are pretty much my raw, unfiltered thoughts on this match. I'm just letting this, this play after I've edited it. And um, so, not a lot of editing going on here. Let me know what you think about this style. Just kind of letting you in on my thoughts on the match, how I feel like I played. Um, early, early lack of focus gets me down 30 love in the service game, in the second set. Here's when you want to be putting him away. You took away some chances that he had to make it really interesting and um, instead of kind of stepping on his throat, as my basketball coach used to say, we're letting him breathe, get back into this. He hits a really, really nice winner there and has three break points on the first game of the second set. Barely missed that ball. <clears throat> and we're down early. And then he comes right back with a solid service game of his own. After the break, I'm trying to work my way back into it. Hitting nice backhands. You love to see that. Attack that forehand. And then a great pass. Down 2-0 early. He's got a lead again early so the wheels have the opportunity to fall off but we make a really nice shot there and um, kind of take control of this game again start serving a little better have two points to close this game out and he just misses the slice which wasn't a great ball by me, so you love to see when the opponents give you a point like that. Nice winner to start on his service game. It's 30 all. The points we're getting into is nice, but I think around this point in the second set, I start pushing it a little more than I normally do. Get a break point early, but I'm not quite swinging through like I would like. That's a good defensive backhand. I like it. Shortened up. Got it deep in the court. Two open stance backhands, which you rarely, rarely see me hit, and then I miss a forehand. My bread and butter, the good old forehand, miss it. Um, still have a chance at this game, really want it. And he misses that ball. Thank God I didn't go up and try to get that, because that's something I would normally try to do. Um, hit a slice deep in the court. He hits a good ball, makes me run. Another good ball, I'm ready for it backhand what do I do put it deep in the court neutralize the point now I can play a little bit of offense again I'm, I'm pushing right here not swinging through my shots not really trying to go for it not hitting the shots that I know I can hit but luckily we're staying in the point and then I shank it you hate to see the shank um, now he has a chance to close this game out take control of the set and he moonballs me I moonball him right back and then he misses the moonball happens a couple times in this in this match um, my roommate is literally the definition of a moonballer we hit every once in a while and I've kind of learned if he spins it high and deep then I can just spin it back higher and deeper and he's not going to be able to do a lot with it and miss that backhand. Now he misses with the advantage. And this is just a really long game, and unfortunately it is not the last long game. I end up getting break point here. Can I finally close this one out? Really good forehand that makes me run wide. And then get the backhand miss, and we are back all square. I'm going to be honest, I'm tired of talking, and you're probably tired of hearing my voice, so I'm just going to let the tennis 
play for a bit, and then I'll come back later in this set. All right, guys, we are back. You can see I've had some trouble holding serve. Luckily, he has as well, but he's got a 5-3 cushion in this set, looking to close it out on my serve. I'm looking to not let that happen. Um, you can see spacing still is a bit of an issue for me, but we're making balls, and that is an improvement. Back in, guys. If you've been watching the channel for a while, just watching these backhands go in, it's it's exciting thing. I'm not terrified of the backhand anymore, which is great to hear. As you can see, these points are starting to get longer. We are playing some some pushy 4-0 tennis, if you ask me. And then I just get lucky, barely getting over the net tape end up falling with a good serve. We've got three chances to close it out, serve and volley. And I just give up on that. I don't know what I'm doing, but I was gonna kill myself if I, if I lost this game because of that point. Luckily, it is not the case. So now we're trying to force um, some more tennis in this set. And luckily I get up 30 love and just let that ball go, but we have two break points eventually. And what a shot. What a shot. He battles back, gets it into deuce, kind of shanks that thing. I ride it into his backhand, hit a solid volley, solid jumping overhead. We've got break point. That's a great inside out forehand. 
but watch me after I hit it. Luckily he missed that. I kind of just start watching. I need to be ready for that next point. You can't do that. You can't do that. Now I'm on serve, five to five, looking to, you know, hopefully make him serve to stay in the match. And early, he has a really nice point. Little winner there. Um, good second serve for me right there. My second serve is doing much better. It's actually doing some damage. Nice get there. I probably could have gotten that, but just kind of give up. Serve and volley. Get it deep. Still in this, but he's got another break point. And we battle. Send it to deuce. There is a high ball, and you got to do more with that. Put it into the net. That's a point that will haunt you if you lose the game. And we're still rolling it to his backhand the best I can. Another inside out. Another inside out. We come in on it. Bad volley. Really, really bad volley. And now we have to break to stay in it. Luckily... He uh, played a pretty sloppy game, and we are in the tie break. Good start from me with that serve. Come in there. Decent volley. Got to do more with that. He crushes me. Ends up taking a 2-1 lead. You can see he's hitting a little higher. I'm hitting a little higher, too, getting pretty tight. Balls are slowing down. I've never tried that shot in my life. I don't know why. That was the time I just I decided to hit a drop shot. Not the best time in the tie break when you really want to get off this court, get to the next match to try to pull out a shot. You've literally never practiced. Highly, highly would suggest against that, but we're still out here playing. Miss the backhand after hitting a couple nice ones. Um, not super upset because, guys, there's a lot of improvement there. Great inside out forehand. Trying to work my back in. Get a short ball. Miss the volley. Volley's got to be worked on more. But it's one of those things where it's going to take a long time to get really, really consistent with the volleys. It's not the easiest thing to practice without a coach or a hitting partner. Luckily, I do have a coach, but our focus has been on... Really locking down those groundies. Now we're working on short balls, but that one hurts. He's got a couple set points, almost wins that thing down the line. And then I give him the set. I give him the set. That hurts so bad. We move to the 10 point tiebreaker. This is one I would be, if I lose this match, I'm just going to cry because I've had my chances and kind of just let him back into it. But, you know, we still have a chance to win. We get up early 2-1 with some nice serving and some nice returning. And again, it's getting slower and slower. And a nice winner there. And we are up 3-1. You never want to get down early in the tie break. That's when you really get tight, really start pushing. So my goal is not to get down big. And roll one in there. We are playing some just pushy, pushy tennis. But what can you what can you expect from from some four O's? Guys, three fives, whatever level you think I am, he's a four O. By UST rating, he's a four O C, so we're gonna call him a four O. If you wanna call me a three five, call me a three five. I literally don't care. But we get a cushion. If you don't think your tie breaks look like this, you need to film yourself because they're, I promise you, you will start pushing. It's going to look different than your regular tennis. You're trying to make balls. You're trying not to miss. It's part of the game. You get tight. We're not pros. We're, we're four O's, three fives, whatever. Um, have a nice little lead here, um, but he starts creeping back in and hit a really good ball there. Don't finish that like I should. And I freaking lose that point. That's killer. That's the kind of thing that mentally can really set you back in a tie break if you don't just kind of um, forget about it immediately. And now it's six to six. 
I'm in a bad spot and a lazy, lazy return gets me down 7-6. Now I'm really fighting. Don't really attack that short ball. Luckily make that volley. Barely make that volley. And that was crucial. Crucial, crucial. I don't know how I got that ball. I don't know how it went in. But now it's all square at 7. And that's the laziest shot I've ever seen in my life. I gave him that point. His backhand approach was nice. Now it's 8-8. Eight to eight. Go for that high ball. Don't get it quite deep enough. He comes back. I attack there. Get to the net. And hit a little smash. We have match point. And we're battling for it. Get it on the run. And I'm just going to let this point play out. Thank the Lord I get out with a W. This recording was two hours and 43 minutes. What a battle. Oh, guys, what a battle, what a battle. Unfortunately, we're back at it in 10 minutes. I'm, I'm pretty freaking tired, I'm not gonna lie. Took everything to pull that out. A lot of pushing there at the end, a lot of pushing. Unfortunately, the phone's gonna run out of storage for sure, because that was just two hours. 30 minutes of footage that I don't want to lose and my battery is going to be close to dead So this next match won't be filmed, but I will be sure to update y'all Shortly after uh, we're about to find out what winners only is all about because I'm gonna be trying to hit a winner every freaking shot Because I do not have the legs To stay in long points. Hopefully we can find the stroke because I could not find it there at the end, but we'll see um, Excited to play again? Kind of. We'll update you after. It's official. I am the best of the worst. Took the dub in the consolation bracket. I really wish I could have filmed that. Um, it was another absolute battle. The guy I played, Jaime, had a withdrawal this morning, so he was completely fresh. First match of the day. And I didn't want to point the first two games, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is about to be ugly and then i just told myself all right we're gonna really hit we're gonna hit my shots we're gonna do what we've been working on we're gonna hit it hard so that's just what i started doing started working my way back eventually got that break back took the first six four had a lot of long deuce games and then battled in the second got down again early uh, broke in the first serve. Eventually worked that back and took the dub 6-3. I really played some of my best tennis probably. Not the desired result of the weekend. We're on the wrong side of the bracket, so that's not great. But I'm pleased with walking away with two dubs today. I was on the court from 8 a.m. and now it is 12.56. I got a 10 minute break in between, so it was quite the grind. Now I'm gonna try to figure out how to restore the calories in my body somehow today and we're probably going to take tomorrow off and then Tuesday we'll get back at it. Unfortunately this is an announcement this will probably be the last tournament I play for a while. I have six weddings in eight weeks that I have to attend um, this spring so not a lot of tournament play. I actually have a big one coming up in a couple weeks but that's not in Texas and it's not USTA. Excited about that but um, hopefully I can get back at it this summer playing more tournaments. Who knows? Maybe I can get some dubs then, but for now that is it. Winners only. We're going to keep grinding, keep getting better at tennis, and we're going to keep making fun tennis content. It's time to get some more, more of the creative videos flowing, so we got some exciting things coming in the future. Thank y'all for watching as always. Peace.